Alright, in this video we're going to do uh, an example related to a double angle identity. And these really just come from our sum and difference identity. So suppose we're given that sine x equals 12 over 13, x is in the first quadrant. We want to find the value of tangent of 2x. Well, the thing to notice is, so here's our double angle. Uh, so tangent of 2x, we could really write 2x simply as, well, x plus x, right? I mean, x plus x is 2x. And now I'm just going to use our, our uh, previous identity. It says we'll get tangent of x plus, well, you know, in this case we don't have a y, we have another x, so we'll get another tangent x over 1, and if it's a positive inside uh, in the denominator, we make it a negative. So 1 minus tangent x times tangent of x. And of course, you know, we can simplify this down. Uh, tangent x plus tangent x is 2 tangent x. And then 1 minus tangent x squared. Um, so again, there's our double angle uh, identity. So we're given that sine of x is, is 12 over 13, so I'm just going to make a little right triangle based on that. And then we'll deduce the value of tangent of x from that. So let's see, here's my little triangle. Um, here's going to be my angle x. There's my, so it's a right triangle. Again, remember sine is the opposite, uh, the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse. So we can assume that the opposite side is 12. Uh, the hypotenuse is 13. We would have to figure out the missing side using Pythagorean theorem. So, okay, so maybe we'll call uh, the missing side here A. So A squared plus 12 squared would equal 13 squared. 12 times 12 is 144. Uh, 13 times 13, whoops, I wrote a plus, that should just be an equal sign. Uh, 13 times 13 is just going to be 169. If we subtract 144 from both sides, we'll get a squared equals 25. And then if we take the square root of both sides, again, normally we would get positive negative 5. But again, uh, here, since we're talking about the length of a triangle, we're just going to use the positive 5. Um, and again, you know, now I think about, again, so x is in, the angle x is in the first quadrant. And in the first quadrant, uh, all the trig angles are positive. Okay, so now I can read tangent of x off, for the, off from our triangle. So remember, tangent is the opposite, the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. So the opposite side is going to be 12. The adjacent side is 5. So I'm just going to simply plug that in. And then we'll just simplify things down a little bit. So again, 12 over 5 quantity squared. And let's see if we can't clean this up here a little bit. So. Um, let's see, in the numerator, you can think about 2 as being 2 over 1, so that would give us 24 over 5 when we multiply. We would get 1 minus, let's see, uh, 12 times 12 would be 144. 5 times 5 is going to be 25. I think we're going to run out of room here a little bit. So let's see, um, so we've got 24 over 5 over 1 minus uh, 144 over 25. And there's a couple different things. You could get uh, you know common denominators in the denominator, write it as a single fraction, flip and multiply. What I'm going to do to get rid of the fractions is just multiply by the uh, least common multiple of the denominators. You know, so in the denominator, if I did multiply by a 25, it would basically cancel out my second, you know, my, the fraction in my second term. But if I do it to the top, I've got to do it to the bottom. So let's see. Um, 25 divided by 5 is simply going to be 5. So we'll have 5 times 24 in the numerator. Uh, 25 times 1 will be 25. Uh, minus, let's see. Um, when we distribute the 25 and the 25, that'll simply cancel. So we'll be left with our minus 144. And I think now we're getting a little closer here. So. Uh, let's see, 5 times 24, 5 times 20 is 100, 5 times 4 is 20, so 100 and 20 is what we'll get in the numerator. Uh, let's see, 25 minus uh, 144, let's see, I believe that's going to give us 119, 
excuse me, negative 119. It looks a little better there. And um, I think that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, not a whole lot of other simplification that you can do in this case. So I think I would just leave it, uh, leave it right there.